Hey everybody, it's Liz, and I've got another project to share. Um, I decided to participate in Jen's challenge. Jen has a fairy challenge going on right now, and for those of you who don't know Jen, she is Oak Tree Vibrations here on YouTube, and she's got a fairy day challenge going on. And basically what you have to do is just alter anything, but you must have a fairy in your project. You have to use stickles or glitter. You have to have two natural elements and uh, definitely use the color green and of course have a little bit of lace. So this is my project. Um, I decided to alter, you guys are never going to believe what this is, I know it looks like an Altoid tin, but it's not. It's actually an iPod case. It's um, the little clear um, plastic thing that my iPod came in and I thought it was really neat to use that and I am really happy with the way this project turned out. I think it came out so cute. And basically what I did is, you know, the um, the case is just clear, you know, uh, plastic, acrylic, whatever you want to call it. It's just, you know, like that. And um, all I did is I primed it with gesso first so that the papers would adhere better, you know, when I used the Mod Podge. Because I've tried using it just on plastic alone without, you know, priming it first and it kind of slips and slides, you know. You guys know what I'm talking about. So anyways, I just primed it with gesso real quick, just a very thin coat. I used um, the beautiful Once Upon, a Once Upon a Springtime paper collection by Graphic 45. I just love this collection. I knew instantly, as soon as she said Fairy Day Challenge, I was like, that's the paper I'm going to use. I think it's so pretty. I've only used it one other time in um, some altered letters I did a while back. So I had so much fun working with this paper. It's so super cute. But uh, basically I just adhered the paper, you know, to the entire case all over. There's, um, you know, paper at the bottom, all the sides are covered. Here's the back. Isn't that cute? Okay, and then of course the inside. The only place I didn't attach paper was to this bottom portion here. This was act this is the lid from the box only because I knew I was going to cover it with moss, so I did paint it green just in case I missed a few spots so that it wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't be able to see the white from the gesso, so that's basically it, um, and then I went ahead and started embellishing. I knew I wanted to create a pretty little fairy scene, and look how dimensional this is, guys. Isn't this adorable? I think it came out so cute. For my background, these hills back here, I just used cardstock. Uh, green cardstock and I just cut it out you know in the shape of like you know little rolling hills and then I, I applied Mod Podge to the um, cardstock and then I added um, uh, a Flower Soft. Let me show you for those of you who don't know what Flower Soft is. It's really really neat. See there it is. Flower Soft in Sage. And um, yeah so that's, that's what I did and it gives it such a realistic look right because I mean doesn't that look like real grass like the hills are just covered in beautiful green grass. So I thought that came out really neat. And to give it, you know, a lot of dimension, if you take a look, I used the first layer here, I used foam tape. And then on the second layer here, I used just a piece of um, uh, cardboard because, you know, the thickness just worked out a lot better than the foam tape. I would have had to layer like three or four different pieces of foam tape to get, you know, that layered look. So really, really neat. I love the way it came out. And then, of course, I did a lot of fussy cutting. Here are some, you know, flowers back here that were uh, fussy cut from the paper collection. And then I just attached those in uh, random areas to make it look like there's flowers blooming, you know, in the grass. Really pretty. And then on top here are some little butterflies that I fussy cut out of the collection. There's another one back here somewhere. There you go. And, of course, we had to use stickles. So I used stickles on all their wings. Look how shimmery they are. Very cute. And then, let's see, I knew I wanted to create a pretty little fairy scene, and these were fussy cut out of the paper collection as well, this gorgeous little fairy with the butterfly on top. And again, all the wings have stickles on them, and on her, um, the little wreath of flowers that she's got in her hair, that's um, stickled up too. Really cute. And since I cut these out of just regular paper, I didn't want it to be so flimsy. So what I did is I took a piece of cardboard, just a small little piece, I cut a slit in it, and then I slipped the little um, uh, image into that little slit. And then I hot glued it in place so that it could um, be a little bit stiff, you know, have something to hold on to. And then behind it, I just used like a, I always save like little pieces of foam, and things like that. I used like a little piece of foam. And then, of course, I covered it with moss so you wouldn't be able to see it. But that just gives it more stability so, you know, she's not so flimsy and uh, see, she stands better. 
So that's what I did there. There's some fuzzy cut elements back here. Some pretty little flowers from the paper collection. Very cute. And of course, lots of moss going on. Back here, I used a rock. That is my natural element. I just went in my yard and grabbed one. So there's one back there, and then there's one up here. And then over here, this cute little baby chick just hatched from his little egg. And this was fussy cut from the paper collection as well. And on the little egg, I'm going to bring it close, hopefully you guys can see it. But I used uh, crackle accents so that it looks like the egg has all these cracks on it. There, I think you can kind of see it. Isn't that cute? And let's see, so back here I tucked in these little flowers. I think these are called heather stems and they're by Wild Orchid Crafts. I finally placed an order with them just a few weeks ago and I got it in two days ago, so it was perfect. And these are so cute, they're so tiny. I didn't realize how small they are, but they are perfect for you know this little cluster that I wanted to do here. So I just added two of them in the white back here. And then I've got some little flowers going on for my stash. These are just little white flowers. These are I Am Roses, but I colored them in the Lindy Stamp Gang, the uh, Grab a Guy Gold. I did dilute it with some water, though, because I wanted a little bit more um, of a muted shade of yellow. So I thought they came out really pretty. And I did that there, and this one. And this itty bitty one here is just basically the same size as this. I just took off that bottom layer, that first layer of petals, to make it smaller. And then here's another one that I did the same thing. And here's a couple of more. And again, same thing with this little one. I just took that, you know, first layer off. So very cute. And then you guys see how shimmery they are? What I did is I used glossy accents and then sprinkled diamond dust on top of them. I wanted to give them the look of, you know, fresh dew on top of the flowers. And I really like the way that comes out. It's very pretty. And of course you see all the moss I used. And then here is the lace. This is where I incorporated the lace. I just added this cute little crochet lace all around the box at the bottom. This is the, you know, the lid. Very neat. Okay. And then this is the back. I kept it simple, guys. I just used this beautiful image from the paper. I cut it out to size. Of course, all the fairies have glitter on their wings. They're very cute. And then I added some moss down here as well. Okay. Very cute. And on the sides, I just have these two fairy queens. They are the guardians to the fairy kingdom. There's one on each side. They just make sure that only those who are of pure heart can enter. So, I thought that was really cute. And let me see if I missed anything. Oh, of course, my little vine here. This is just some ribbon that I have for my stash. And I just started off over here and I just used hot glue and just a little places here and there to attach the vine and it goes all the way up and then to the side see? and then down the back and there's my vine so I thought that came out very cute and then of course this uh, flower bunch is fussy cut from the paper as well and I just attached that up here with a little bit of hot glue and then my title is down here once upon a springtime this was just fussy cut from the paper collection and I did attach it to some chipboard, and then I inked the edges with green, just to give it more stability. It could be nice and sturdy as my title. And I think that's it, guys. I think I covered everything. I think it came out so cute. And you guys, I'm going to put the link below so you guys can check out Jen's channel. Jen is an amazing crafter, you guys. She is super talented. Of course, she loves fairies. And uh, her challenge is a lot of fun. I had a blast making this. And, you know, I definitely wanted to make something a little bit different. That's why I chose to do the iPod case. It was just sitting there in my drawer. I knew I kept it for a reason, so it came in handy. I really love the way this came out. It's so cute. And as you can see, it's tiny. It fits in the palm of my hand. Super cute. And I really hope you like it, Jen. This will be headed your way. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. You guys know I'll get back to you. I really hope I didn't miss anything. I usually do, but I think I covered everything. I just love this little piece. I think it's so cute. Anyways, guys, like I said, I'll put the link down below to her challenge. Go check it out. I think you have until June 24th to enter. And, uh, you know, she's got some really cool prizes. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.